the following is a special programming of the Period Free Wrestling Federation, Octane. Hello everyone and welcome to another High Octane episode of PFWF Octane. We're going to kick it off here with Grim and Dr. Disrespect. Of course, I'm here with Divine Wallace. What are your thoughts on this match here, Wallace? Of course, we saw yeah. the RCU Plus Invitational Battle Royal. Oh, Stunner! Oh, Stunner! Get me over! Could be it. One, two. Oh, Dr. Disrespect oh, kicks man. out. I mean, Dr. Disrespect has always been known as the ultimate gaming specimen until just recently, so... <laughs> Of course, hopefully. I mean, I'm under a lot of controversy lately. Of course, hopefully uh, we'll be able to. Hopefully, uh, uh, there's no. Actually, there is some kids in the crowd. Uh, <laughs> they better watch out. <laughs> oh, look at Grim though. Ooh. Of course, Doctor Disrespect, the two-time gaming champ. Look yeah, at Grim, of course, though. you know. We'll have to, we'll just have to see. Um, these men are kind of trying to fight for their freedom. I mean, whoever wins Ooh. is probably more likely to get a get off scot free. Of course. And uh, Grim here. Maybe on, whoever uh, wins will have to fight Scotty the dog sometime. Of so course. Scott free, they really are. It's Capital City riot coming up this Thursday, July fourth. I mean, people want to get a, a steam ahead in the rankings here in the PFWF. Mm. Ooh, count of five here. Grimm's Toy Show sends him into the ring. Count of six. Elbow miss, though, from from Grimm. Dr. Disrespect. Oh, my goodness. What a move there from Doc. Another big move from Doc. Very big moves. Oh, my goodness. Doc Dr. Disrespect. Rock so bottom. Rock bottom. Doc bottom. Doc bottom here. <laughs> that could be it. One, yeah. two. Good night, Grim. Doctor disrespect the victory. Now what? The, what the doc is texting to minors? <laughs> Doctor disrespect the back picks up the W. <laughs> Doctor disrespect, you know. Gaming specimen, six foot eight, two hundred and thirty pounds of pure shredded muscle. Of course, Doctor disrespect. <laughs> Children better watch yeah, out. Oh, Dr. God. Disrespect is here in the Period Free Wrestling Federation. Oh, boy. Uh, the two-time gets the victory right here on PFWF Octane. But, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep the high octane excitement rolling right here on PFWF Octane. PFWF Octane is proudly sponsored by Fast and Co-Furious 3. Available now on RCU Plus everywhere. We're back here on PFWF Octane. We got a big match here between Johnny Gargano and Austin Theory. Of course, these two have a have a history. Of course, Wallace. Yes, of course, and very, very long history. Of course, they used to both be in the way. Oh my goodness! Look at this though. Gargano escape. This could be it. There might be got got a low thing. escape for Austin Theory. <laughs> oh, is the Theory gonna tap here? I think Theory is better than that. What a creative name that Johnny Ooh. Gargano made up for his finisher, of course. Of course, uh, Theory, he hails from A-Town. Ooh, DDT here. But you see, um, Austin Theory's not a vanilla midget, so little submission holds like that probably can't tap him out, but, uh... Of course. Ooh, nice suplex here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful A-Town suplex. Of course, it, it's an A-Town suplex, because, you know... Oh, look at this! Oh, my God! A-Town A down! down. <laughs> Cover! One, two, good night, Johnny oh, Gargano. Good yeah, night. Scream it out loud. Scream it out loud. Austin Theory picks on the damn W. Scream it out loud. Scream it out loud. Austin Theory, big victory. Climbing up the ranks of the PFWF. Could be some big uh, things coming, of course. Him and Wall are yeah. possibly chasing after those tag belts. Maybe maybe Theory going to the single scene. Yeah, Absolutely. Oh boy, what a victory for Austin Theory here tonight on PFWF Octane. But ladies and gentlemen, the high octane action continues as we roll on right here on PFWF Octane. The Period Free Wrestling Federation would like to thank these promotions for helping open up the Forbidden Door in Amino. The Artificial Intelligence Amino League, Savior, the Southern House of Wrestling, and the home of the national championship, the NJCAA. And we are back here on PFWF Octane. We've got big tag team matches. Of course, the All Canadian Quarter Crew just picked up a huge victory over the No Quarter Cat Crew. We'll take on the former PFWF World Tag Team Champions, the Elite. What are your thoughts on this, Wallace? Oh, my yeah. goodness. Well, you know, the All oh, oh. Trying to show All Quarter 
on the Elite. One, two. Oh, Cena kicks out of two. Of course, you can see tag team match now have 10 minutes time limits after what happened last week with a bunch of draws. Ooh. Of course, what are your thoughts on the Canadian cast with that upset victory they had on PFWF Goes Nova Scotia against... Yeah. Uh, I guess pretty uh, surprising how they were able to I beat the no quarter cats through like that. I mean, especially some when they're quarterists. You know, the quarters are weak against the no quarter catch crew. Of course, I mean, I'd say you know it was home field advantage for the uh, for the uh, uh, AQCC, but uh, of course they were in Nova Scotia on the river, on the ocean, on the Atlantic Ocean. So, yes, of course. So what's uh, Trudeau looking at here? Trudeau He's better. Oh my down. goodness! Oh, well, you better not do that because Trudeau just got attitude adjustment. Oh my goodness! Whoa, Jinder Mahal though. What the hell was that about with Jinder Mahal? Uh, I mean Trudeau. Must be uh, of course uh, Cody cl claims himself to be an American nightmare. Maybe he wants to be a Canadian nightmare. Ooh, Trudeau now. Cover here on Cena. Of course, Chris Benoit, a part of the Snack Pack unit, also a member of the uh, AQ, uh, AQCC, or a, um, ACQC. A, a C A C Q C right? Um, yeah, all Canadian uh, all quarter Canadian crew. crew. Or quarter crew, fuck. <laughs> all Canadian a a C Q C. All, yes, all Canadian quarter crew. One, ooh. I mean, maybe we can see uh, the AQC, uh, uh, ACQC uh, more in the PFWF, but of course, brings it into share and the snack pack unit together, all with the uh, the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Absolutely. Cena though, pouncing away on the modern day Maharaja. Maharaja all over the place right now. Of course, you better you better not hinder gender. Tag to uh, Cody here. Yes. Ooh. And, oh, and crossroads. Cross uh -oh. Could be it here, Juan. Oh, Trudeau kicks, Entering kicks gender, it up. It's always a mistake. You never want to hinder gender in the PFWF. Of course, he was a former leader of Indusher, I'd say. And then Veer took ownership. Then Rishi took ownership and... I believe we we're going to have a leadership match at Rishi Sunak at Capital City Riot. Am I correct here, Wallace? Ooh. Yes, I believe so. Uh, who will answer the Who will answer the call? Of course. He's going to could be a member from India. Share could be some other Indian. Could be someone we've never seen before in the PFWF. That's why you always want to yeah, watch Gandhi. our shows. Gandhi, of course. Yeah, could come back from the dead. Take uh, if Vera can come back from the dead, I don't see why he can. Yeah, PFW is all about standing right there too. <laughs> Chris Benoit's, uh, I mean, uh, PFW is all about high octane unpredictability. Yeah, right. that's very unpredictable. Ooh, come Easy on, though. finish it, guys. Then the kid, all Canadian catch group pick up a second W. Oh, oh man, tag to John Cena. Of course, the all-Canadian all quarter crew here wants to spread quarter to the PFWF, which uh, I'm not really all about that, man. No, not at all. Kind of reminds me of Jello Don't Miss. Cena going to the top yeah, here? Yeah, nobody likes that. Big frauds. Oh, man. Cena doing some showboating. Of course, I mean, we haven't really seen too much of the Elite since they wo lost those no um, World Tag Team titles. Tag the Trudeau here. Master the mat. Ooh. About two months ago at this point. It's John Cena, though. Ooh. Punching away on Trudeau. Ooh. Nice kick here. From John Cena. Ooh, drop kick. Big drop kick there from the champ. From the, uh, the former champ. With PFWF. Nice move there from Cena. Oh, look at this, trying to throw around Trudeau. I mean, we saw what, what, uh, what the All-Canadian quarter crew can do. Yes, oh, indeed. I mean, very, quite a well-oiled uh, well, um, well unit there. 
course. Work together pretty well. Not Cody, though. Of course, that's why we have a 10 minute timer now. Five minutes expired. Ooh. Maybe that won't even be enough. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, Cody, though. What's Cody looking for here? Ooh. Sending him into the corner here. Well, going to the top. Oh, my goodness. What's Cody looking for here? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, giving a little head rush. Oh, my goodness. What a slam there from the American Nightmare. Tag the gender, though. PFWF fans very excited. Here they're all about high octane excitement. Oh, look at Jenner though. Ooh. Get a big win here for the all all Canadian quarter crew. If they big if they beat the uh, the elite here tonight, former champions. Oh, Cody's foot's under the rope. Three minutes remaining. Ten minutes might not even be enough for these two teams. Ooh. Might not be enough. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, man. No way. The Coloss got it. Go for the cover. One, two. All and Canadian quarter crew with the victory. What are your thoughts on that, Wallace? Being a very successful tag team so far, eh? Very Best impressive. Team. Very impressive it's been for the all Canadian quarter crew. Look at that. Give them a little celebration here. Of course, we saw that in Nova Scotia. What a big victory for the all quarter Canadian crew right here on PFWF Octane. Yeah, just, very, very impressive. Justin Trudeau. <laughs> he's loving it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep the high octane excitement rolling. So let's, let's continue the high octane excitement right here on PFWF Octane. Period Free Wrestling Federation is proudly sponsored by Snack Pack. Try flavors vanilla, chocolate, both, or even the special Kyle Simpson flavored pudding. Available everywhere. And we are back here at PFWF Octane. We got a huge match right now as as the uh, the Pudding Pounty Champion uh, Joe Coffey will go up against Brian Vargas. Of course, you'll be looking for winning winning that NJCW National Championship. Oh! At a Glasgow send off. Oh my goodness. I was about to say he's oh looking for God, that national Glasgow title. Two. Oh, good night, Vargas. Over. Vargas ain't ready for the Gallus boys. He was not built for that. Of course, I mean, they did lose that handicap match against Strickland at uh, PFWF yeah, Goes that. Nova Scotia. But still, Gallus boys on top here tonight. What are your thoughts on this victory here, Walls? Uh, very, very fast, you know, Glasgow send-off. New Glasgow send-off if he's in Nova Scotia. Of very course. Very impressive win for the Gallus boys, putting uh, that fur fraud in his place. What a big victory here for Joe Coffey right here on PFWF Probably. Octane. Sending uh, Balor a message. Ladies and gentlemen, the high octane action continues right here on PFWF Octane. Are you in the need for speed? Well, I'm happy to announce to you that Fast and Co-Furious 4 is now in development and is coming soon to RCU+. Plus. And we are back here in PF3F Octane. Huge match here is the number one contender for the DUI title. Flavor Colorado goes against, up against Jungle Jerkoff, Jack Perry. Oof. Yeah, this Jungle Cock. Yeah. Of course, Fuego outlasted them all in that... Oh, oh, there you go. oh my goodness! One simple DDT might be night, night that one, might be enough. two. Good night, no scapegoat. Jack off here. I got, yeah, <laughs> fucking destroyed. Might be sending a message to Jeff Hardy there. What a victory for Fuego! Fuego is on Fuego, on fire so far in the PFWF. Nice little hot streak going. Of course, his buddy Johnny, and Mr. Money in the Bank as well. Ladies and gentlemen, what a victory here! For Fuego Calderon on PFWF Octane, but let's keep the high octane excitement rolling because we never we don't stop. PFWF isn't about full stops. Let's keep it rolling on PFWF Octane. 
Hello everyone, it's me, Fuego Calderon. Check out my appearance on this week's PFWF Instagram exclusive episode of I'm Matt Taven with the trend Matt Taven right now on PFWF Octane. Welcome to I'm Matt Taven with the trend Matt Taven. Now, please welcome your host, Matt Taven. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of I'm Matt Taven, hosted by me, The Trend Matt Taven, and it's brought to you by Only Trends, where you can hashtag follow the trend. Tonight, we have a lot to talk about, including an incredible guest who has been making waves in the wrestling world. This past week, I had the honor of competing in one of the toughest matches of my career at PFWF Goes Nova Scotia, held on Cape Breton Island, right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. That's right, we battled it out in a ring, surrounded by water. It was the RCU Plus Invitational Championship Battle Royal, and let me tell you, it was intense. The stakes were high. If you didn't win, you might have ended up in the ocean, but I came out on top and captured the RCU Plus Invitational Championship. Now let's get to our special guest tonight. He's the winner of the Win or Drown Rumble, a match just as insane as it sounds. Please welcome Fuego Calderon. Fuego, welcome to the show. First off, congratulations on winning the Win or Drown Royal Rumble. That match was brutal. How did it feel to come out on top? Matt, it was a fight for survival in every sense. Winning that match was one of the most exhilarating and exhausting experiences of my life, but it was all worth it for the opportunity that comes with it. Speaking of opportunities, you've got a big one tomorrow at the PFWF Capital City Riot PPV, a DUI championship opportunity. But before we get to that, let's talk about your relationship with Johnny Eden. You trained him, formed a tag team with him. How did that come about? Johnny and I go way back. I saw potential in him from day one. Training him and forming a tag team was a natural progression. We share a vision for excellence and pushing the limits of what we can achieve in the ring. It's clear you two have a strong bond, but what does winning this DUI championship opportunity mean to you? It means everything. It's a chance to prove that hard work and dedication pay off. Winning the DUI championship would be a testament to the journey I've been on and the sacrifices made along the way. That's inspiring, Fuego. But I have to bring this up, Johnny Eden. Now he might only be wrestling in tiny ass bingo halls and high school gyms and did not single-handedly sell out Madison Square Garden like I did, but he's Mr. Money in the Bank. Yet he's not wrestling tomorrow at Capital City Riot. Some might say he's being a bit lazy, don't you think? Ha ha ha. Johnny's got his own strategy. He's always thinking a few steps ahead. Well, strategy or not, I think it's time he steps up. So, Johnny, if you're listening, I'm challenging you to an RCU Plus Invitational Championship match tomorrow at Capital City Riot. What do you say? You know what, Matt? On Johnny's behalf, I accept your challenge. Johnny's always ready for a fight, and this will be no exception. Fantastic. Tomorrow night, it's going to be one for the ages. Fuego, thank you for joining us tonight, and best of luck at Capital City Riot. Thanks, Matt. It's been a pleasure. But just remember this. Mr. Marquis in the bank is going to fuck the living shit out of you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Fuego Calderon. That's all for tonight, folks. Remember to stay trendy with only trends and tune in tomorrow for Capital City Riot. I'm Matt Taven, and we're just getting started. Good night. We're back here at PFWF Octanus. we got a huge match here. And Brother of Destruction will go up against No Quarter Cats for the newest members. Post Malone and Tavion Heights, of course, Post Malone, the new NQCC Heritage Champion. Of course, Wallace. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, very, very, very impressive. Taking it from the, from the Wolf, the, 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 the anger, the dog. Of course, taking it from Alexander Wolf. Uh, this past week on PFWF Goes Nova Scotia. If you missed it, it's uh, it's on our YouTube channel. Check out, check it out in the uh, 
in the videos here. So, oh, Tavian Heights, he's getting a little bit spooked by the Undertaker. Oh my goodness. I think he's getting a little bit scared of the Undertaker. What was that all about? Yeah, that's a little strange. Yeah. I don't even know if this has Octane rules on because there's no timer, but uh, no matter what, still high Octane excitement here in the PFWF. Ooh, punches here. From uh, Undertaker. Of course, uh, we've seen what the uh, Brothers of Destruction have done lately, of course, to uh, Matt Taven and Mike Bennett at the Kingdom. Of course, they'll be in our main event tonight, one on one. Of course, if you saw on uh, PFWF, uh, Battle Royal determined the first ever RCU Invitational Champion. Came down to Matt Taven and Mike Bennett, and Taven got it. Taven won. That's why he's yes, a trend. Indeed. Cover here yeah, from I mean, Heights. Yeah, stop the trend. Trend's going to trend no matter what. Of course. Yeah, he's going to climax all over if he doesn't get the trend. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, Matt Taven's trending so hard, we're talking about him right now, and he's not even in the match. Of course. That's how much of a needle mover from Matt, Matt Taven, Taven is. is. I mean, yeah. He actually moves a needle and, and metaphorically instead of literally like Brian <laughs> Burgess. He literally sticks that shit inside of him. Yeah. He just can't help it. He just he needs to be a fraud all the time. It's just disgusting. Brian Far Fraud, as usual, the quarterist. But uh, Kane here, getting some action here on Tavion. Ooh, ooh, nice spear here. Oh, Tavion gosh. Heights. Suspiciously, it seems like there's a lack of a time limit on this match. It might, might be a normal tag team match. I mean, I'm fine with that. Of course, the PFWF, sometimes, you know, we don't need to be limited by stops. Yeah, it's true. There's no such thing as full stops or any full stop. Yeah, yes, of course, there's no full stops in the PFWF. Nice knees here. Of course, we saw this, these nice knee attacks we saw, of course, in that Heritage Championship match on PFWF Goes Nova Scotia. Post Malone, of Post course. Post Malone letting the fans know who, who he is. Oh, look at that. Look at taunts he's doing. A little bit of gold dust type stuff. Oh, hopefully he doesn't start acting like gold dust. <laughs> oh, ooh. Maybe you'll have to join in to share instead if he's an S third act and like that. Of course. Now Malone here. The Irish whip. Chris Post Malone. Uh, Irish whip. <laughs> Post Malone is a very well known rapper. Now trying to get into the uh, country music scene. Ooh. Oh man, he's, I think he's biting his head. Very, very interesting. Tavion Heights tagged in here. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Ooh. Tag here. Uh, Tavion. Ooh! Body locker bust. Cover. One. Two. Oh, that would have been it. Body locker bust. Of course, if you guys saw that, it's one of the most devastating moves in Tav Tavion Heights' repertoire. Yes, absolutely. You guys are gonna get. You guys are gonna know what body locker bust is gonna be within the next few weeks because it's gonna be a devastating move here. The PFW up a weight, an iconic move. Looking for a little bit of a last ride. Got it. Straps going down on the dead man. Oh my goodness, this could be in trouble. Oof. The straps don't go down. You know you're in trouble with the dead man. Absolutely. You don't want him to. Huh? Oh my goodness. Strip himself down like that. Kane. Oh my goodness. No. Uh oh. Cover here. Got it. Big victory for Brothers Destruction. Oh man, that's a. Uh... Very, very big victory indeed. What a victory there for uh, Kane and Undertaker here. Oh, here's an item on PFWF Octane. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on this, of course, Wallace? Um, you know, a very, uh, very big victory for the Brothers of Destruction, of course. Of course, they just like, they just like to cause destruction everywhere they go. <laughs> 
Yeah, including, of course, they got a they got a couple wins on the Kingdom, but um, the Kingdom's going to be watching, I think. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, the high octane excitement continues right here on PFWF Octane. Follow the PFWF Wrestling Instagram page for the latest up-to-date news on the Period Free Wrestling Federation. We are back here on PFWF Octane. Huge match right now. Sky the Dog with Sangha a little continuing this um, Scalas uh, into Share War. Am I right here, Wallace? Yes, absolutely. Scotty the Dog's ready to let that dog out all over Sangha. But... Oh, 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 look at this. Oh, my goodness. Scotty oh, can very well pick up his first win here. Oh, oh Scott Drop. God shot from Scotty no the way. Dog on Sangha. First, dog, first win. Scotty the Dog picks up the win. Oh man, that was impressive. Scotty the dog finally fixing that losing streak of his. Absolutely. Big victory for Sky the Dog right here on PFWF Octane. Finally getting finally getting a win in and, um his uh his uh record book here. Climb with the rankings yeah, here in PFWF. I'm sure he's feeling very high octane after that big victory. Scotty the dog. Finding that dog's pride out. He's a little bit of gallusness as well. Continue the high up transaction right here on PFW. <laughs> Ciao! It's Giovanni Vinci, and I'd like to give a huge shout out to the greatest country singer today, Zach Bryan, for his song American Nights, which is an official song of PFWF Capital City Riot. It's off his brand new album, The Great American Bar Scene, and it's available now on all digital streaming platforms. Now let's get back to the high octane action on PFWF Octane. And we are back here, uh, PFWF Octane. The, the trend, Matt Taven is trying to teach Mike Bennett a lesson. I think after some of the uh, after what happened in that uh, Fast and Furious Five Invitational Battle Royale. Of course, Matt Taven is our Fast and Furious, uh, or sorry, uh, RCU Plus Invitational Champion. Oh, oh yes, of course. Uh, William has something you'd like to say. This match is sponsored by Brian Ferguson's Meat Snacks. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what that is, William, but anyway. Um, Matt Taven just doing a little bit of punishment here for Mike Bennett. Um, oh, a little takedown there from Michael. The miracle Mike Bennett. Um, as I believe his shirt said, uh, big in Japan, or boot in USA, big in Japan, something like that. But of course, last week, I believe his uh, T-shirt said, uh, um, get the piano or something like that. <laughs> Some sort of stupid shit like that. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, atomic drop. Whoa. <laughs> Interesting offense for Matt Taven. I haven't seen that before. What? Ooh, leg drop. Just <laughs> dropping that King King's trendy leg. <laughs> Mike's pro. <laughs> oh my god. What's this? Oh, dropping the knee on the back of the neck. That's gonna hurt like shit with those long trend legs. Trend leg it. Oh, we're gonna see the frog splash! Oh my god, the king's frog splash! The trend, the trend splash! One, two, three! Lesson, lesson has been taught to Mike Bennett! I don't think we'll see him messing around anymore. <laughs> Put in his place quite thoroughly, I'd say. The trend Matt Taven stands tall over the cock of Mike Bennett and Mike Canellis. I mean, Brian Vargas would never stand tall over Kyle Sips, and I don't know what you're talking about, William. That is, uh, it's got nothing to do with what we just witnessed there. Matt Taven took care of business. Matt Taven put Mike Bennett in his place. Of course, what a big night of PFWF Octane. Well, tell the fans what we got in store for this week for Capital City Riot. Uh, we got a lot of big matches coming up, including Ludwig Kaiser versus Sean Strickland for the PFWF World Heavyweight Championship. Um, the whole lot of high octane excitement. Um, we're going to be seeing uh, uh, somebody take on Rishi, Rishi Sunak for leadership of In the Chair, of course. And we're going to see Finn, we have Finn Bauer versus Joe Coffey again. Uh, Finn Bauer's invoking his rematch clause. And he has Fuego Calderon coming up through the DUI championship. Lots of high octane matches for sure. 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us right here on PFWF Octane. For, that's been Divine Loss. I've been Billion Chen. We'll see you next time on PFWF. And remember, PFWF is wrestling for the strong. <laughs> Before we leave you on Octane, let's do a little PFWF Capital City Riot match card overview.
Kick off. Triple threat tables. Match. Dr. Disrespect vs. Velveteen Dream vs. Grimm's Toy Show. Get ready for a chaotic start as these three controversial pedophile personalities battle it out in a high-octane triple threat tables match. Expect broken tables, the police, and a whole lot of mayhem as each competitor looks to stay away from jail. Joe Biden vs. Donald Trump with a mystery special guest referee. The political rivalry reaches new heights in the squared circle. With tensions running high, who will the mystery special guest referee be? Could it be someone who has history with both men or a complete wild card? NQCC Heritage Championship. Post Malone versus EO Sky. Post Malone brings his unique blend of energy and unpredictability to the ring against the high flying prowess of EO Sky. This match promises a clash of styles with the NQCC Heritage Championship hanging in the balance. Indus Sure Leadership Open Challenge. Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak, known for his strategic mind, hosts an open challenge. Who will step up to face the leader of Indus Sure with the leadership up for grabs? PFWF World Tag Team Championships. NQCC versus H Block. Stipulation If H Block wins, they leave PFWF with the World Tag Team titles. The stakes couldn't be higher in this tag team showdown. Can NQCC defend their titles, or will H Block take the championships and leave PFWF forever? Expect an emotional roller coaster and top tier tag team wrestling. DUI Championship Fuego Calderon versus Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, the charismatic enigma, faces off against Fuego Calderon for the DUI Championship. Both are known for their daredevil antics, so prepare for a match filled with high-risk maneuvers and intense action. Pudding Pounding Title Joe Coffey vs. Finn Balor under Gallus Rules In a match under Gallus Rules, Joe Coffey takes on Finn Balor. Expect a hard-hitting, brutal contest with both men looking to prove their dominance and walk away with the Pudding Pounding title. RCU Plus Invitational Championship Matt Taven vs. Johnny Eden Matt Taven defends his RCU Plus Invitational Championship against Mr. Marquis in the Bank, Johnny Eden. This bout promises technical prowess and high-energy action as Eden tries to seize his opportunity. NJCAA National Championship Fatal 4-Way Vinci vs. Vargas vs. Simpson vs. Steveson Four competitors, one championship. Vinci, Vargas, Simpson, and Steveson all battle for the NJCAA National Championship in a match where alliances will be tested and only one can emerge victorious. PFWF World Heavyweight Championship, Sean Strickland vs. Ludwig Kaiser. In the main event, Sean Strickland defends his PFWF World Heavyweight Championship against Ludwig Kaiser. Strickland's raw intensity clashes with Kaiser's technical mastery, promising a gripping finale to the Capital City Riot. Get ready for an unforgettable night of wrestling action at PFWF Capital City Riot, where every match is a must-see and every competitor is out to make history. Thank you for joining us on Octane, and we'll see you tomorrow with a special start time of 1.30 p.m. Eastern for Capital City Riot. This has been a special presentation of the Period Free Wrestling Federation. Wrestling for the strong.